All right, so let's talk about resonating your voice. When you talk, your larynx creates a buzzing sound due to air passing over your vocal folds. Your larynx is right here. This sound is shaped by your vocal mechanism consisting of your throat or your pharynx, your mouth, and your nasal passages. When resonant voice is initiated, you can actually feel sympathetic vibrations in, within your face, your throat, and your chest, indicating that the cavities are bouncing sound at the correct frequency to resonate with your individual body structures. Now, this allows for a perceptually louder sound, or sorry, louder sounding voice without the strain and indiscriminate diction associated with a physically louder voice. So essentially, when you resonate, your throat, the way it's shaped, has certain frequencies that it bounces the sound in a audibly pleasing way, and it gives off the effect of being louder, even if you're not talking nearly as loud as per people are perceiving it. Now, within the mouth is a structure, structure called your soft palate, also called your velum. It's just, it's the soft spot just behind your hard palate or the roof of your mouth. Um, this soft spot connects to the back of your throat and has an area that branches upwards towards your nasal passages. This intersection is guided by the velopharyngeal port or soft palate throat intersection. It opens and closes depending on what function you are trying to perform. It's typically open for breathing and closed for swallowing. This prevents liquids and other materials from coming up through your nose when you eat. It also opens for vowels and nasal consonants like N and M, allowing the nasal cavity to resonate and closes for most other sounds. If it doesn't close during the other consonants, you end up with a nasally sounding voice. So as long as that velopharyngeal port is working, you'll sound just fine.